Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the buck converter design in LT Spice using discrete components, right? Using discrete components. So we'll have MOSFET, we'll have voltage source, we'll have diode, we'll have inductor, we'll have capacitor and we'll have load resistance, okay? So the design specification is, your input specification is, you have 12 volt input and your output specification is 3v3 at output that is v out is 3v3 at at 1 ampere that means you, you want to design 3.3 watt power supply by using buck converter buck converter with discrete component okay buck converter is basically called step down converter that means it converts a higher voltage a higher voltage into a lower voltage okay so this is going to be very interesting today let us understand bit depth bit in depth so you can see this is the voltage source that is 12 volt the positive terminal of this voltage source is connected to the drain of this mosfet and the gate of this mosfet is driven by a voltage source with the frequency of 500 kilo Hertz. the on time is 0.58 micro micro second and the total time is 2 microsecond and you can see here you can see here your negative terminal of your pwm driver is connected to the source of this mosfet then we have a freewheeling diode d1 that is ie n914 and you can see the mosfet part number is si7336 adp then we have a we have one inductance that is 4.7 micro henry then we have one capacitor 32 micro henry 22 microfarad and then we have load resistance 3.3 okay so that is all related to the circuit now let me run the simulation so go at this button simulate button and let me try to show you the different waveform and right so tile window vertically and let me try to show you the different waveform so you can see here this is clearly shows the 12 volt input and let me show you the output so you can see here we have a output of you can see how much this output you can clearly see it is 3.3 volt how much the output this is 3.3 volt you can if you want to further zoom it you can see this output voltage is having some ripple ripple voltage that is peak to peak ripple of if you want to measure this ripple voltage go at cursor attach cursor and you can measure the peak to peak ripple is how much how much is the ripple you can see so uh, how much is ripple this is this is 13.5 millivolt okay the output ripple is 13.5 millivolt and you can see this is this is the transient transient of your output and that means it output first initially rose up to 4 volt then after a period of time it got stabilized right so this is the output let me show you the this is the output voltage and this is the output current okay so you can see the output voltage is 3.3 volt and now you can hear here you can see clearly that is output current is 1 ampere right output current is how much is output current that is 1 ampere and let me try to show you the the power so you can see this is the power in red so power is around power is how much is power power is around 3.359 watt you can see here from here to here you can see the power here in x axis right in the in the y axis sorry in the y axis you can the output voltage in the y axis and you can here this side you can see the current load current so you have three parameters ir1 that is load current and v out is that is output voltage and this v out into ir1 that is power so these three things i have shown to you now let me show you in some diff things so you can see 
this is this is your pwm driver so let me delete all these traces so that you can have only the pwm ic let me delete it and let me further zoom it out and let us see yeah so you can see the 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 gate driving signal of this mosfet just attach cursor and you can see the frequency for this signal okay right one cursor here and one cursor here and you can see the frequency is around 500 kilohertz you can see here this the frequency is around 500 kilohertz so this is the input signal let me show you the signal at the source okay so this is the this is the signal you can see here and let me show you now this is the 12 volt starting from around 0 volt here and it goes to up to 12 volt so your input voltage is coming here uh, right now let me show you the current across this inductor so you can see this this is the current so let me show you first like this how your inductor current draws okay so since this buck converter is in, you, working in the con continuous conduction mode you can see the initial initial current is around 5.6 ampere then it got stabilized here okay so let me zoom it out and show you the current across inductor how current look like in inductor right so this is the current look uh, across the inductor so it has got some ripple ripple current so attach the cursor and you can see the ripple current how much is ripple current right so maybe not sure how we do this let me give it try let me give it try yep 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 so you can see the 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 ripple current is 368.5 milliampere so your load current is how much let me show you so this is the your load current and it's around 1 ampere and you have delta i l that is delta i l is 368.5 milliampere so that is how your inductor current looks like so you as you know that inductor currents never be zero okay it has some value dc value and then ripple you can see this is the dc current and this is the current across the inductor so so guys this design haven't tested in the actual production this is made for the educational purpose right so if you have any further question about this design you can feel free to ask me in comment section you, you write and write comment on comment section and i will reply you at the end i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share the link for you okay so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for next video